okay, we're going to calculate sine of 15 degrees times cosine of 15 degrees. And yes, we could possibly figure this out individually and figure that out individually and at the end multiply them together, but don't do it like that. Because we notice that we have sine times cosine and the angles inside are the same, right? Let me show you another way to do it. So I'm going to utilize this identity here. And the identity that we have that involves sine times cosine is the double angle formula for sine. Let me write it down. We know sine of 2a, this is the double angle formula for sine, right? And this is the same as 2 times sine a times cosine a, isn't it? And you see we have the sine a cosine a, which is exactly this part, right? Well, I just want to have this part. I do not want to have this 2 right here. So what can we do? Looking at this identity right here, let's just go ahead and multiply one half on both sides. How is that? So that I can cancel out this one half and 2. Namely, I can tell you sine A times cosine A, it will be the same as that. And let me put this down onto the right hand side for you guys, which is 1 half times sine of 2a. And be sure the 2a is now the angle instead of the sine right here. And this is what we're going to use right there. Alright? So, sine of 15 degrees, cosine of 15 degrees, you know here is the a value for the angle. Right? And this is going to be 1 half. And we'll just have one sine function, right? And then we have to do 2 times a. So let me put down 2 times the a, which is the 15 degrees. And now, this is what we have to do, alright? And as we can see, this is just one half, and then we have the sine, and then 2 times 15 degrees. Of course, that will be just 30 degrees. And we can figure out what's sine of 30 degrees, right? And let's go ahead, look at the triangle real quick. So this is my 30 degree angle, and then we will have this is 1, this is square root of 3, and this is 2, right? Let me just write down the angle better like this. What's the sign of 30 degrees? Well, let me put on the 1 half from here first, right? This is 1 half. Sign of 30 degrees, as you know, is the opposite over the hypotenuse, namely 1 half for the sign of 30 degrees, right? At the end, 1 half times 1 half, we get 1 over 4, and this is it. So much easier, isn't it? That's it. Double angle formula, another look, right?